AI changed my life last year, and my goal is to have it do that for you if it hasn't already. I saved so much time last year thanks to AI, and I was able to use that time doing the things that I most enjoy, like traveling with my family, playing guitar, and enjoying life. But that doesn't mean I didn't work. In fact, thanks to AI, I got more done last year than the year before. AI helped write thousands of messages to support my customers. It helped coach my customers on growing their businesses. It helped coach me. It helped me to write the code to build my software, helped me make important decisions. It helped me negotiate savings on products that I use. And it's even helping me to make the video that you're watching right now. I'll show you exactly how I'm doing it. I'm using a tool called Super Whisper, where I am just able to sit at my computer and say things, and then boom, the text is there in any input field that I need it. And then I have all my ideas right there in text so I can put them into AI make sure that they're entertaining enough, but then also ask the AI for suggestions. And it's like I've got somebody working right alongside me to help me flesh out the ideas much better. But I'm not making this video just to show you how powerful AI is. I want you to come away from this video with the exact next steps that you can take as a creator and entrepreneur to better leverage AI in your business this year. So here's an example. I'm going to take something I'm working on right now that I want AI to help me with. And on this video, I'm going to walk you through my thought process in getting AI to be able to assist me with that and also showing you how I'm going to use the tools that I've built with AI so far to be able to help make that process easier. All right, so step one, the problem that we're going to solve. As a creator and entrepreneur, I have all these tasks throughout the day that I need to prioritize. Every single day, there are new things happening. There are new ideas I have. There are new problems coming up. And I need to find a way to effectively get that all out of my head and get it organized. Not only so I can spend my time effectively, but so my teammates can spend their time effectively as well. What we're going to do here to solve this problem is we're going to write a prompt for ChatGPT that can help us walk through this and prioritize our tasks. So every single day, I've got to figure out what is it that I focus on next? What is the priority for me? How can I organize all these thoughts into figuring out what to do. It's such a general and common problem that every creator and every entrepreneur has. Now I've used to-do lists in the past. I've even built a to-do list. It's one of the first software products I created. And now for business, my team uses ClickUp. We've got probably almost 10,000 tasks inside there. So there's a lot going on. And one of the principles that you might have heard of if you've looked into the getting things done method of productivity is that you want to get everything out of your head. You want to get it all out there and organized at least somewhere that you don't have to be thinking of it and remembering it. And ideally, it's only going to come back to you and be visible to you exactly when you need to get it done. The thing is, with a lot of these productivity methods, my issue comes in where you just have to spend so much time organizing before you can really reap the benefits of what you're doing with that method. And last year I made a video in how I use AI with the note-taking app Obsidian that many people use as like this second brain to organize all their notes. And my issue with the second brain type methodology is you've got to link all your different notes together before you can get the value of it. And I just don't have time to do that. I don't have time to organize all my notes and link them all together when I could be building something. I don't have time to list and organize all my to-dos just perfectly when I could be working on that next thing. And of course, there's so much value in doing that. And if you can help figure out what is the perfect next thing to do, then yes, it's worth spending that time. But wouldn't it be great if AI could do that for you? So I solved it with my notes that there are these plugins in Obsidian I talked about that it connects all my notes automatically. It lets me chat and search with my notes using AI. And now I'm looking for ways here to solve that with productivity for my actual to-do list and the tasks that I have coming up. Now we get into the fun part. I'm gonna write a prompt to help solve this problem. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I did and we're gonna kind of just work on it here in real time. A tool I'm gonna to use here to help me inside ChatGPT while we write this prompt is a custom GPT that I built called Prompt Expert. Now, this is a custom GPT I built as part of my course that teaches you how to build your own GPTs and better leverage AI in your business. Now, what this GPT does specifically 
is it reviews and refines your prompts for you. So what I was doing when I had this idea that how can AI help me with organizing my thoughts is I started writing out some notes just on my phone. And now I'm gonna paste them in here. And this is the rough prompt that I came up with so far. I'm simply gonna send this to the custom GPT. And now it's going to review this and give me some recommendations based on my own prompt writing guidelines that I've given it. Looking at its recommendations here, it looks pretty good. What it's indicating as one of the main things here is I don't include any response examples. And I think that would be really, really important for what I'm asking in particular here. And I'll show you what that is. So this is my really rough prompt so far as I was thinking of this idea that I say, I'm gonna share my thoughts with you about the upcoming tasks and projects I'm working on. These may seem unorganized or almost random. I share this as a stream of consciousness. I need you to help listen to and organize all of these thoughts into a plan for my week. Help me both to organize priorities and understand my tasks more clearly. And then I wrote a response format section. This is really helpful if you are trying to get the AI to work the way you want, that I'm telling it exactly what I expect from it as a response. So after each message, you output brief thoughts about my upcoming tasks, followed by a prioritized list of tasks so far, each with a description of might, what might be the first step or subtask for each of these tasks. The highest priority task should have extra details provided for its subtasks and approach. Finally, if more information would be helpful, you end your response with a simple question that might help you collect the best information from me in order to provide the best responses. Yeah, it says that so far, but it's really not detailed at all if you think about it as far as telling it exactly what I expect. So if I could give an example of like a task of how it would respond and put that in part of the prompt to show like I want a list item here and then I want like a bulleted list of subtasks or descriptions and the description should be this long, then that can really help it get really fine-tuned to exactly what I'm looking for. But what I'm gonna do here before even working on it more is I'm just gonna ask this GPT now if it can go and kind of implement those suggestions for me. All right, now let's see what I will get back from this here. All right, so looking through what it gave me here, it did list everything out in the guidelines, the response format, and it's definitely more clear so far than what I wrote because it's saying each thing as a specific list item here. And I do like that it added in some details here a little bit of what it could do. But what I don't like is the example response part that it thought would be really important. I kind of wanted to see what it would come up with first and then maybe modify that. And here it just kind of said that like, this is where I could put that, but I want to see something from it ideally without um, having to write that first. So I could ask it, but what I'm gonna do instead is just try to rerun this one more time because I don't want to bias the model here in having it think that I'm always correcting it and that it's always wrong. So I wanna give it one more chance here. Let's see if it does it better this time. All right, awesome. Um, so I'm actually going to give this a better rating. I usually don't uh, touch those ratings, but this is so much better because now I've got the whole example response. And all I did was click to try it one more time there. And now what we have is same kind of thing it gave that first time that it listed everything out, but now it gave me this example response. And now I can look at this and say like, is this actually what I want? when I'm talking to this GPT, is this actually what I kind of want to get back or do I want something different? And so its idea here so far, based on everything I told it in the prompt, is that it's going to list out the project, have the first step and then the task first step, and then order those in priority and then have a detailed plan for project X. So I guess that is figuring out maybe what it thought was the more important thing and then listing additional subtasks for those. So I like that. Um, I think it would be cool if it also had in that response example though, some like commentary on maybe the main tasks themselves that it identifies and telling me like why it thinks one might be a priority over the other. That way I can see if it actually aligns with what I'm thinking in my own needs for my business and what I'm building. 
but this could be helpful. So I'm not going to try it out right now, but I am excited to try something like this because my goal is that I'm just going to turn on ChatGPT with the iOS app. You can do this on the iOS or Android app, and you can basically talk to it on like a phone call. And I'm just going to talk about all the things I think I need to do, all the, the tasks, all the priorities, all the issues that just roughly are coming up in my mind as I think of them. And then I want it to organize all of that for me. And that way I can just say things and just let it kind of stream out of my head. I don't have to take the time to type it all out. And then I can get something back to realize like, oh, okay, these are at least like one, two, three. These are some tasks that I should be working on. And I might already know like, okay, these are, this is in my ClickUp, but it might also help me identify some things like, oh, I didn't start this. And if I needed to start this, the first step would be X. And so I think knowing that will be helpful and knowing how to then prioritize that, or at least getting a second opinion in a way of how to prioritize those things can be really helpful. Now you might think, okay, well, that's great. That's really cool that you can take this prompt and kind of optimize it. But what if I don't even know what the AI can help me with? What if I want to better leverage AI, but I have no idea where to even start well, I've got a solution for you there as well. And I built a, another GPT that can help with that first step. That is called the AI Task Ideas GPT. What this one will do is help take that first concept of what it is that you need help with. You can just roughly say, this is the task that you're working on. And then it will identify and break down into a number of subtasks, the things that AI can help you with. And this is super powerful because number one, AI cannot just do everything yet. You can't say to AI, make me a billion dollars, and then it happens. So AI, where it really excels, is at specialized subtasks that are highly defined with the appropriate context. Now, as an example there, let's put something in. I'll show you how this works right now. Uh, an example of like the general task that you might do often could be something like make a YouTube video. So I'm going to put that in. And now let's see what we get back. And this is going to tell us now a list of things that AI can help with. It's going to make this list specifically because I wrote a prompt that tells the AI all the tools it has and all the potential things it might be able to do. So here's what we've got so far. We've got concept development, script writing, storyboard creation, research for content, image and visual aid creation, code for interactive elements, editing assistance, SEO, optimization, thumbnail design, and accessibility features. All right, so that is pretty interesting. Now, you can probably think of ways now seeing this that AI could be involved in a YouTube video creation workflow. Now, the next challenge is, okay, that's great. Let's say I wanted to help me with one of these things. How do I actually write the prompt? So this is where this comes in and the AI task ideas GPT can actually write that prompt for you again with the guidelines that I have for writing prompts. So that way it's going to apply those for you and you'll be off to a pretty good start that you can then take to the first GPT prompt expert and kind of refine from there. So let's pick one of these things. I think I like, I guess concept development. That's, that's a really common one. So let's pick that. I'm just going to paste that in and let's see what we get back here. All right. So it's writing it all out and you'll notice that the format is kind of similar to what you saw that I wrote before and what the prompt expert did. And I'll explain it right here. That is a prompt template kind of formula that I really enjoy because it's really clear to the language model ChatGPT, And it's also very clear for you as a person to read through everything. Basically, you have the general instructions. You've got your guidelines of the things that you actually want it to do. You've got the response format of what you expect as a response. And then optionally, you might put in something like a response example, giving an actual example of how you would want the AI to respond. So let's take a look at what it wrote here. Okay. So it's, it's kind of making it up itself of like what we're interested in or, or something like this. And now this is an area that you would probably want to change based on like your particular niche as a YouTuber research content. Okay. So that's interesting. So what it's doing here, the reason it's saying research content 
as one of its guidelines, you might think like, well, what do you mean? What is it going to research? Well, ChatGPT knows that it can use a web browser tool. And so it may actually then go, given this prompt, to use a web browser and then do something there. So let's see. I'm actually going to just copy this and let's make a new chat in ChatGPT and see what this prompt actually does without any refinement. Okay, so I've got a new chat here. This is just the default ChatGPT. I'm going to paste in this prompt and just see what it does. And we can see here it's searching for current tech current trends in technology 2024. And here is what it's coming up with. And this is kind of interesting because this is something that you don't have to make into a custom GPT. It could just be a simple prompt that you save and reuse, where imagine that you set this up for your particular niche and then had it basically be able to look up stuff like every given week. If you were the kind of YouTuber where you wanted to talk about like whatever is new in the news, this could kind of be doing some of that research for you in giving you ideas every week. All right, so that's interesting. I mean, some of this stuff is uh, definitely like current and you can see here it gave uh, sources for all the things that it found. I hope that this is helping to spark some ideas for you in how you could better leverage AI in your business as a creator. Really, that first general task that you have to work on, just give that to the AI, learn about the different ways AI could assist with it, have AI start to help write that prompt for you, have AI refine the prompt for you, and then work from there. And every single time you do this, you've got one more tool that AI can help you with in your day-to-day -day business going forward. If you want to learn more about this, if you want to get access to these custom GPTs that I built, I built the first course that teaches you how to build custom GPTs and better leverage AI in your business. It's called AI Elevate. It's only $99 for lifetime access, and I'll put a link to it down in the description below. I am so excited for what creators will build this year with AI because I really think we're just getting started. There is so much unrealized potential. And if you're watching this video right now, you are at the forefront. You are ahead of so many people and there is so much opportunity for you to get more done and create more this year thanks to AI.